Yo, man, so Yasin Bey, formerly known as Most Stuff, addressed the drama that came in reaction to his comments on the Cutting Room Floor podcast with Rachel Omani. He says he doesn't want to be a part of the Drake hate, but he does offer him advice and says he wants to speak to him. He went on to say that there's more important things to focus on than his opinion on Drake's music. Shout us out right here. Some weeks ago, uh, I sat down for an interview, which I do rarely, um, with the lovely, talented, and insightful Rachel Ormandi from The Cutting Room Floor, her broadcast, which is available on Patreon. It is not for free. So if you care to uh, see the interview, you can... um, you can go on Patreon and check her out on the cutting room floor. Um, I'm not answering questions here like that either, so just bear with me. Uh, I'd like you all to hear what it is that I, I have to say uh, as it relates to some of the comments that I made about Drake. First of all, uh, I don't hate anyone. My opinion is mine. Um, It's legal in all states, uh, as far as as I'm aware. Uh, It was not an opportunity to try to slander him or to clown on him. Um, I have reached out to him I have no response just yet, but uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not keen to talk about people uh, or to them through a screen. I prefer to talk to people directly. Um, But I will say this, the young man is very talented. He's been able to be very successful with that talent. And I have no issue with his success anything that he's been able to uh, achieve as a result of his talent. Um, I do feel that some of the criticism that he's received in the past has been mean-spirited and unfair. So I don't want to participate in that. And if I was perceived to be harsh or mocking or taunting, that is not my intention. And Drake, if you're watching or if you you, you come across this, that is not my intention, brother. I've never had no issue with you personally. I don't know you well enough to even have any sort of issue with you in that regard. Nonetheless, it's not sacrilegious to have a critique or an opinion of a public figure, particularly one of that magnitude in in current modern culture. Um, It was a question that I was asked and I answered it as earnestly and as diplomatically as I possibly could. Uh, Forgive my Brooklyn. Uh, With that being said, at this given time, And let me be clear with this. At this given time that we are all living through, this is not where the focus ought to be. But what, you know, what one artist or MC thinks of another one. Uh, I get it. It's something that people notice and the, the different media outlets he seized on that one aspect of the interview the 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 uh I have a red show and they completely ignored the context completely ignored the context what I was speaking about was a a larger reality uh and my opinion which I feel is totally valid Uh, There was no slander or intended slander at all. Um, And that's the size of it. I I wish that there was this much energy 
about uh, human rights and real justice and resolving real life or death conflicts where blood is happening. And some of that blood is the blood of innocence and children. So we can notice things, right, that are happening in global culture, but where we put our focus matters. So I would encourage you all to not be distracted by the arcade lights of faux conflicts where the stakes are really not as urgent as they're uh, being promoted to be and to direct your focus to what really matters um, in your own personal lives, in your immediate environment, and in our social environment that we're all sharing. Uh, And that is my encouragement. And this is coming from an earnest point of view Uh, I mean no harm. I'm not here to taunt or mock anyone. Uh, I'm not here to participate in frivolity for frivolity's sake. You know, uh, Fun and games have their place, but to everything there's a season. And we're living in a very serious time. And customarily, when you've seen me here, uh, more often than not, it's been to share something that I find beautiful or interesting or important. Uh, sharing it with people I love and respect in my immediate environment and with all of you who are here. Um, distraction is a luxury, huh? Luxury tax, you know, but we pay. Uh, but we pay. We pay the price. Um, Free Palestine, free Gaza, free Sudan, free Congo, free Wi-Fi, free everything that needs to be free. Drake, if you would like to speak to me directly, you can at any point. I reached out to Chappelle, asked him to reach out to you. I DM'd you. You are a very talented MC. Uh, But for me, I require more of myself and others than just talent or charm or charisma, particularly in times of urgent crisis. And what I would like to see in terms of creators or creative people in the world as it relates to our culture is for people to connect with us beyond the jukebox or the dance floor. You know, a fair weather friend can hardly be called a friend at all. The people who party with you, that's cool, but will they show up if you had the triage? or you in a crisis situation. And all friendships are tested in not times of ease, but in times of hardship. So for whatever you perceive, for whatever your level of understanding is or is not, we can all agree across spectrums that this is a critical time for human beings in the terms of human endeavor. 
and um, cultural biases and preferences aside, uh, that's right, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice every day as a standard to aspire to at the very least. At the very least to aspire to. And it's not easy, but it ain't difficult either. It's not easy, but it ain't difficult either. And to quote myself, we sacrificed for what we needed or wanted if it was righteous, exact, or out of order. Everything is not for sale. Everybody pays a price. You can run away and not escape. That's the way of life. Nobody makes it out alive. Nobody ever really dies. Ain't it strange how the contrast coincide? Ain't it strange how I'm amazed, but I'm not surprised? They say that they don't understand it, but it's not a lie. And indeed, your understanding is not required. Whether you understand it or not, the truth is what it is. And I hope and pray that all of you, whether you agree with me or not, come to a point in your lives before you return to this earth will you understand that at least one day one day in your life okay so let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though there's another update with stace yo